Hey what's up guys you watching Tech Theory and in this video let's review the iOS 12 GM version on the iPhone 6. If you haven't subscribed yet do subscribe and click that bell icon for latest video updates. Let's get started. So yeah this is going to be the final version of the iOS 12. So let's go to settings and check the build number. So yeah the build number is 16A366. As you can see on the screen right now this is the version of GM and this is also going to be the final version which will be released to all the public quite soon so i'll be dividing this video into quite some parts so make sure you watch it till the end to clear all your doubts so the most important thing to all of you is the performance so let's talk about the performance the performance has really been good on the iphone 6 since ios 12 so let me have a look at the benchmark scores i have tested the benchmarks so let's have a look at it now let's go to antutu benchmarks which i have mostly tested on so yeah these are the scores on the iOS 12 GM version and also the final version 69560 which is quite good but it is less than as compared to previous beta then there is a catch because Antutu benchmark or any benchmark doesn't give you the exact idea of the performance is it just gives you a rough idea so this is roughly the idea and the performance has really been good in real life usage I'm using the iOS 12 and it has been really better as compared to iOS 11 so yeah this is about the performance and the UI is quite fluid now as you can see the UI is really fluid on the iPhone 6 now as compared to iOS 11.4.1 and also compared to other betas so yeah the UI is really fluid so you will not face any lag my major lag issues but iPhone 6 do lag because it is a 3 year old device and you can't expect a major performance improvement in iOS 12. So now going forward the next major thing in a phone is the battery life so yeah let's have a look and my battery health is 79% which is quite less as compared to other users so yeah let's have a look at the graph now this is the graph I don't use the iPhone 6 that much because I have a OnePlus 6 I use it as a secondary device so yeah I don't it, uh, use it a lot so as you can see this is the chargeable I majorly use it for YouTube and settings I updated just now uh, yesterday so yeah uh, these are the graph of the battery life the battery life has really been average you can't say a good it is average so don't expect any better battery life in ios 12 as compared to ios 11 so i got uh, many questions regarding the camera quality in the previous video description uh, comments so yeah let's have a look at the camera the camera has been really same there is no software optimization regarding the camera in ios 12 the camera is exactly same you can't uh, really uh, judge between the cameras of iOS 11 and 12 it is quite good and as you know iPhone cameras are the best and it gives best performance in terms of camera which is the same case with iPhone 6 on iOS 12 so now let's talk about the other changes which I wanted to tell to you so the UI is now fluid and the battery life has been really decent as compared to iOS 11 so yeah no issues regarding the battery life the iPhone 6 is still giving good battery life not best good battery life so now let's have a look at the screen time feature which is one of my favorite features so it is quite useful for you to save your time to manage your time so make sure you use it because it is quite good for your day to day life i really use it and i am loving it so yeah as you can see this is my graph i don't use the iphone 6 as, as i said and to to benchmark is the most uh, used application in 24 hours i think so so yeah as you can see this is the screen time feature and you get a lot of new features in iOS 12 I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely list it in the description though so check out the description and you get one sad thing as uh, is that the old wallpapers has now been removed in iOS 12 you get only iOS 12 11 wallpaper and a black wallpaper iOS 10 9 wallpapers are gone now so that's a sad thing at least for me so yeah guys this is the iPhone 6 and let's have a look at the fingerprint sensor now let's check it uh, does it respond well so yeah let me check it and it's fast it is really fast as compared to iOS 11 it has been improved so now checking screen on so yeah you have to hold it for some seconds uh, you need to press it for some seconds so yeah it is quite fast but you can't compare it with uh, other iPhones iPhone 6 is quite old now so it is doing a good job so wrapping up the video now guys the iPhone 6 is doing quite good on iOS 12 as compared to iOS 11 so if you are on iOS 11 then do update and if you are on iOS 10 or 9 then do not update iOS 10 and 9 were the best iOS versions so stay there.
and yeah important thing i'm running a giveaway on the channel the link is in the description below so go to the video in the description and join the giveaway it will be helpful for you so yeah make sure you go and join it is a very simple giveaway and you have no, nothing to do that major you have to just follow some steps to enter so make sure you go and check it out that's it from this video guys this was a video on ios 12 on iphone 6 if you have any doubts regarding iOS 12 or any other issues then let me know in the comments I'll definitely help you out if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel for more such videos I'll definitely may be making a follow-up video once the official release is coming and if it has any bugs I'll definitely list it in the description below thanks for watching peace